Hey, how's it going? I'm using my webcam. I'm not doing a direct upload or anything like that, so it's not the best quality in the world. I went to the hospital today, and I just got home two hours ago. I'm exhausted. Twelve hours at the hospital. I made it my uh, promise to everybody that I would go the 26th, and uh, I went. My brother offered me a free ride, told me he would go, he would go with me, and uh, that was my Christmas present from him. So I took him up on the offer. That and I needed to go because, well, my legs started weeping. weeping. If you don't know what that is, my legs started leaking um, from my knees down. Um, Actually, like, on the inner side of my legs, I have some, like, I don't know what they're called. I have edema. Edema. Bilateral leg edema. Okay? But they call it, um, my legs were weeping. That nearly made me want to go. And the fact that I was going to be an uncle again, I wanted to be around to see the baby. So, um... My brother did lose the baby, so we're kind of dealing with that. So it's okay. Thank you. Save the sorries and all that stuff, you know. Um, but here's my proof. If you need to see the date. There you go. But, um. Your diagnosis was morbid obesity. I don't know what this other word is at the moment. That right there. Morbid obesity. Legadema. D Y S P N E A. They put me on last um, Lasix 40 milligram tablets. And since you're going to be on a water pill, they put me on potassium chloride tablets. I have to take the potassium twice a day and the water pill once a day. Um, I do have high blood pressure, but it's brought on by stress. They didn't give me any medicine for that. Probably because I didn't have any insurance. I still don't have insurance. Um, they took blood from here and from here. Um, they did a chest x-ray, two chest x-rays, um, they put ultras they did an ultrasound on my legs to make sure that there was no blood clots in my legs because when they took the blood, they, um, wanted to find out what was going on. They did a the little test and everything. I'm not diabetic, surprisingly, um, they basically just said that I would treat as if I am diabetic because of my size. Um, I'm like, no, because I'm not fat because I eat. You know, something's wrong with me. The doctor said there's a possibility the reason why I'm packing on the weight is because um, of what I'm eating. I could be, there could be some kind of reaction to it, to my body. And it's causing it to stay. But anyway, I weigh 577 pounds. I've been telling everyone 600 pounds, but I'm 577. And here's the topper I stand 5'6. So I shouldn't be walking anyway. But the rate that I'm going is getting harder and harder to walk and um, harder and harder to breathe. My weight is pushing on my rib cage. I have um, an overextended rib cage. I think that's what it said. Give me a moment here, y'all. I'll be able to tell you. Um, there's my heart chart. They did hook me up to the EKG. 
My heart is very strong, thank you very much. Very healthy heart. Um, there's just not enough room. There's <laughs> not enough room in there. Um, prescription. I gotta get filled tomorrow. Another prescription. Um, the wet test they took was a dimer, D dimer final results. And they have a scale of 1 to 5. And I was 0 0.068. And it basically said recommended radio, uh, radiologic and vascular procedures to roll out pulmonary embolism or deep vein thrombosis on D dimmer results above negative. They didn't find any blood clots in my legs. But here's the topper. He said if I had a lot of leg pains or, or anything like that, and I said yes. It was so bad that I want to cut my legs off. There's a possibility that the blood clots, if any, if, if I had any, um, could have came loose and now are in my lung, lung or lungs. And that could be a lot of the reason why I have very shortness of breath. I mean, literally, it is hard to breathe. Um, talking to you right now, it's hard to breathe. A lot of us is too, I'm tired, but, I mean, the basic little walks that you get from out of your bed to your bathroom. Thank God I don't have that far to walk. But, yeah. Uh, they don't have the machine to do the x-ray of my lungs or anything. So, they said it's, it's a possibility, not 100% sure. Um, my thyroid has never been tested. They tested it. My thyroid is fine. Uh, what else? My blood is all good. I'm HIV negative. You know, I got no diseases. <laughs> uh, what else? Might be forgetting something. Um, whatever the estimated G F R final results. Um, here it says chronic kidney disease indicated by the GFR less than 60 milliliter. Kidney failure indicated by GFR less than 15 milliliter. Estimated GFRs should be used by screening purposes only. A carotene clearance should be obtained for use in adjusting medication dosage. Or when choosing potentially nephrotoxic medication, um, basically I'm saying I've got kidney disease. Something's wrong with my kidneys. Um, no, I'm not going on kidney dialysis either. That's not going to happen. Um, so let's see what. They're going to monitor me for 30 days to see what's going to go on with the um, water pills. I do have to find a primary care physician and establish some kind of health insurance. And I got the paperwork now that will basically give me my insurance. Inshallah. Um, But for those of you who don't know me though, I was pretty active and not anymore, but um, very, sh very shortness of breath, um, dizziness, lightheaded, hard to breathe, really hard to breathe. That, that's my biggest thing. My legs swell up all the time. They stay swollen. My feet stay swollen. I did a lot of the propping them up and doing all this and that. It does not work for me. Um, it's basically the water retention and my stomach pushing down on my legs does not allow the water to flow back through my body and so on and so forth uh, but I'm getting taken care of they did say that I am a prime candidate for the gastric bypass that he, the doctor himself would uh, 
help me if I if that's, that's the route I choose to go. Um, but yeah, my heart is fine. My kidneys. Which I gotta actually find out, make sure. Um, I mean that's what it's saying, but my kidneys are almost shot. But uh, thyroid's good. No blood clots is anywhere in the body except maybe the lungs. I don't, I don't know. I'm just rambling now. But my brother did take me. Thank you, Jonathan. I love you to death. Sorry it took 500 years. But uh, Jonathan had to go home. And my dad came out. And he brought me home. My dad was there the final couple of tests and stuff. So, um... All is well. If anything major bad should happen to me, my brother has all my information to update you guys and let you know. Um, but that's it. I love you. I miss y'all. I hate this new YouTube because once I watch y'all's videos, I expect it to go off my queue, and it still stays there. So if you know what to do to get that off there. Let me know. But this is your big boy G1. Signing off. Taking my ass to bed. Oh, yeah. Good night.